This week, we'll be going over all of the achievements in the Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe. We also fix a broken achievement, and I spent 10 years trying to get the last one. And now, let's get into it. So I'm sure everyone knows about the 10 year achievement that this game has. Super Don't Go Outside is for not playing the Stanley Parable for 10 years. Yes, 10 whole years IRL. That means you're going to have to use this guide to get all of the other achievements, just uninstall the game, and don't touch it for 10 years. Make sure you set a reminder to check on it once the 10 years have passed. Yes, I know you could technically just change your computer's time to be 10 years in the future to get around this, but that would be cheating, so I'm going to be waiting and doing it legitimately. And I'm expecting to see all of you for that video in 10 years, so make sure that you get subscribed. While you're down there, you can also become a member of the channel to help support the future creation of these videos, as well as support me adding some other things to the mix, like live streaming. There's even a tier as low as 99 cents, and every bit helps. Now, with that achievement on the back burner, we can take a look at the ones that we currently can get. First is, get your first achievement for getting any of the other achievements. Yes, that's all it is. So when you get your first achievement in the game, you're also going to get this one. Moving on to the actual first achievement, we have You Can't Jump for finding out that they disabled it. So this is really just going to be for hitting your jump key over and over until it pops. That'll be spacebar by default, not sure which weirdos out there actually change jump to a different key. Then we can get click on door 435 times for clicking on door 435 times. Click a door five times? Is that all that you think an achievement is worth? No, 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 no. I can't just give these merits away for such little effort. Well, okay, I guess there is more to it. So just follow the steps that the narrator gives you until this unlocks. It'll be a lot of running back and forth, clicking on different doors and some objects until he finally gives it to you. Yes! We did it! Oh, wow. That felt amazing. Then you'll need to keep going along with what the narrator says to finish out the game. For 8888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888888
And now at this point, we have all of the prep done for our speedrun. So you'll restart back to the beginning of the game and take off running on the path that I show here. I'll chime in whenever we have something important to note, but for the most part, this is just going to be running through the game to finish it the same way that we did for the beat the game achievement. But with a couple of shortcuts to save a little bit of time. So up here we'll need to hit the button for each section and then run over to the chair and desk at each of the sections to climb up onto the railing and jump onto the platform as it comes up to cut down a little bit of time. Then at this point, we're just waiting for the door to come all the way down so we can walk on out to get the achievement. Next up will be test achievement, please ignore, which doesn't really give an explanation, but in order to get this, we have a pretty long process to follow, so strap in. Your first thing to do will be to start grinding through the original endings. I have some that are pulled up here that you can find over on the wiki. You'll just need to keep running through these until you finally get this mysterious new content door to open. So then you'll go through there and follow along for a nice journey through our new content, which there doesn't really seem to be much of. After that ending, it'll take you into the next one, which starts off with some nice memories and eventually leads you to the place where they keep the terrible, horrible Steam reviews. And then the narrator will give you a skip button, which you'll use many, many times. Then the next run we do, the new content door will be even flashier with new, new content. And here we'll be able to go through the expo for the Stanley Parable 2. Here you'll have to do some exploring through the convention center and make sure that you make a stop over here at that sweet new free achievement booth. It's really cool that they would just give away an achievement for something so simple, but just pulling this lever is all you have to- Okay, perhaps I should have clarified. This is technology that will exist. Right now the achievement is still fully broken. I'm not a wizard, Stanley. Oh so it, it doesn't actually work yet. Okay, so go ahead and finish up here at the expo by hitting the other areas, like over here where the Stanley figurine booth is. And then once we're back in the game normally, we can actually just run through and pick up the remaining five stand figs from around the office. The locations are as follows. We already have number one from the expo, so the second one's gonna be over here in the warehouse. You'll just need to go in there and jump onto this box bridge so you can run all the way over here to pick this figurine up. The third will be over at the stairs that lead up to the boss's office. Just go downstairs and under them you can pick this one up. The fourth will be over near the red and blue doors which you can get by going over to the warehouse, jumping off of the lift onto the walkway below, and then the figurine will be back here. The fifth one will be up in the boss's office. After you type in the code on the keypad or the secret door opens automatically, you'll go through there, and instead of taking the elevator on the left, just turn to the right and you can grab this one. And then the sixth one is actually going to be in the executive bathroom, which is just to the left of the stairs leading up to the boss's office. When you pick that last one up, the narrator will be so happy, but also sad that it's all over. 
he suggests taking you over to the memory zone to relive picking them all up, so you'll do just that. He even puts together a sweet video in Windows Movie Maker for one of them. Man, that was great, picking up all of those again in the memory zone, but you know, going through it just one last time, but backwards would really make it even better. So then, we're gonna do just that. Alright, now the figurine stuff is over, and you'll need to restart the game by closing it out and reopening it until the settings person doesn't talk to you anymore. If you've already restarted the game a few times prior to this, then you may already be at that point, but either way, just keep doing that until they don't talk to you, and you'll have the epilogue option on your main menu. So then you'll need to click that to start the last thing that we have to do before we can get this achievement. In the epilogue, we'll hang out in the desert for a while until we can finally go back into the memory zone. Then after a little bit, we'll talk to the settings person again, and we'll have to go along with them to increase the version of the game number, and after you say yes, they'll fix our special achievement unlocking machine that we saw in the expo earlier. Eventually, you'll get to the new game title screen where we can start another run and finally, we'll be able to head back into the new, new content door, go to the expo again, and head over to the achievement unlocking machine to get our test achievement unlocked. And now, the last one that we can unlock for now, we have Commitment for playing the Stanley Parable for the entire duration of a Tuesday. This means you literally have to open up the game prior to midnight Monday night, and leave the game up and running in the background all throughout Tuesday, past midnight. I just opened up the game, set it to a small windowed mode, and let it run in the background while I worked on completing other games and editing. And with that, we now have all of the achievements in Stanley Parable Super Deluxe. Well, almost all of them. In 10 years, we'll get that last one. And now, be sure to check out this playlist for some of my other achievement guides, or whichever one of my videos YouTube recommends.